For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem where they tell you that the beam weights 280 pounds per foot determine the internal normal force, shear force and moment at point C right here that being said you know that you gotta weight of 2.8 keep because the W is equal to the 280 pounds per foot times the amount of feet which is 10 feet times 10 feet which is the length of the assembly which will make it at 2.8 kilopounds now we have an angle here I'm gonna call this angle theta and you know that theta is given by the tangent inverse of the opposite over the adjacent the opposite being 8 the adjacent being 6 which comes out to be 53.13 degrees and this is gonna be important for our little diagram and you know that here at B you can only have a horizontal reaction where A is pinned which could have a possible horizontal and vertical reaction so we're gonna try to find BY and then cut the section from C towards B so I'm sorry I'm gonna call this BX not BY assuming this is X and this is Y so to find BX you know that some other moments at point A is equal to zero, assuming clockwise is positive. So you get the 2.8 keep times the distance from here to here. You know that from A to the center is 5 feet because it's half of this whole assembly, and this whole assembly is 10 feet, so half is 5 feet, so it's 5 times the cosine of theta because theta is this is a right triangle and that will give you the moment created by the weight minus bx times 8 because bx is creating a moment right here and from here all the way down here to a is 8 feet distance so that's the moment created by bx and all of that is equal to zero so when you solve for Vx, you get that Vx is equal to 1.05 kilopounds. And now we're going to use the method of sections to cut it right at C. We're going to use this section. So let me redraw the section as best I can. So this is C. This is the normal at C. This is the share at C. This is the moment at C. We still have somewhere on here going straight down the weight. And we still have BX now you know that this angle right here is still theta the angle that by forms with this perpendicular line is also theta and you know that this angle right here is also theta and you know that from here to the center there's two feet because from C to the center, the center is at 5 feet, C is at 3 feet, so this distance right here is 2 feet. And the whole distance is 7 feet. So let's assume this orientation for the X and the Y to solve this section of the problem. And then you know that the sum of the forces in the X are equal to 0, so the normal is going to the left of the x minus the w sine of theta the weight sine of theta is going towards the negative x 
minus bx cosine of theta because the cosine of bx right here which would be this part is going to the left and all of that is equal to zero you know bx and you know the weight you plug them in and you know theta of course you plug them in and you solve for the normal and you get that the normal is equal to negative 287 2.87 kilopounds which means that is 2.87 kilopounds going to the right so let me correct that right here the normal is going up let me put corrected in the diagram so some of the forces in the y are equal to zero so the share uh, sorry about that the share minus the weight times the cosine of theta so the section of the weight that's going towards this direction plus bx sine of theta is equal to zero you know the weight you know theta you know bx you know theta you plug them in and you solve for the share and you get that the share is equal to 0.84 kilopounds and it was going the right way because it's positive let me slide down make myself some space assuming clockwise is positive some of the moments at c are equal to zero so you know the moment at c plus the moment created by the weight times two because the weight is pulling at a 90 degree angle same as this way and it's at a distance two from point c minus the moment created by vx is this component going this way turning it this seven foot lever arm so it's times seven and it is equal to zero so the moment is equal to 2.52 kilopounds per foot going clockwise so final answer for the moment final answer for the share and final answer for the normal remember we corrected it it's going up please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help Thank you.